So I'm coming to you nice and fresh faced. My hair's so short now. This is, this is my excuse of a ponytail. I'm gonna include a picture of what it looked like yesterday morning so you can get the full effect. Yes, that's me. <laughs> so I have my Sephora stuff right here. I am proud to say that I was pretty minimalist with my order. I only got stuff that I had never tried, wanted to try before, things I absolutely knew that I wanted a refill of, but was out of. So I didn't just purchase things to have back stocks or you know maybe I'd want to try that maybe I'd want to try this I was thoughtful and purposeful and I feel really that I wasn't at all wasteful so I do have some sunscreens and that's what we're gonna start with because I am ready to start getting stuff on my face my face is dry I have on some vitamin C serum um, and some antioxidant serum but I have had a full-blown cold what I'm trying to say is if I put some sunscreen on and it does show some texture around my nose and upper lip, we're not gonna blame the product. These are all first impressions, obviously. Okay, so I got the Rose Ink Solar Power Luminous SPF 30 Serum Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen PA++++. plus plus plus. So the packaging does look like, oh, I should have brought it in here because I'm gonna wear it today. Does look like her serum foundation, except this does not twist off as I just noticed. To close it, you twist it, and apparently this goes button goes down, and to open it, this goes up. I'm guessing then you twist off. I'm gonna read the directions and see if we should shake. Let's read the description, shall we? A radiant, non comedogenic daily sunscreen that protects skin from harmful UV rays while delivering the benefits of a powerful serum using 100% mineral filters. This lightweight daily formula provides broad spectrum SPF 30 protection that melts invisibly into skin. Doesn't say anything about a glow or shine or any of that. Zinc oxide is 14%. Directions apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure blah blah so it doesn't say to shake or anything like that let's look at the texture glass packaging as I mentioned just like her serum foundation oh no scent so it has a pinkish tint and is opaque which I was not expecting actually it's a little milky when I spread it out some it feels creamy I was expecting more of a liquid it's definitely more of a cream, like a thin, like a lotion, not a cream. A lotion would be a better description because it is a bit liquidy and feels like a skincare product. Now, obviously it's not sunk in yet. It does offer a bit of luminosity sheen. Really, it just, I wouldn't even describe it that way. It's more moisturized. It doesn't have any kind of sheen to it that I see. Just looks moisturized. All right, so that is one option for sunscreens for today. And like I said, I was planning on wearing that until I see, I don't even remember what I bought. That's what's happening here. <laughs> until I see, I did also get the Kosas. The Kosas Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. Clean, comfy, 100% mineral sunscreen that moisturizes, smooths, and creates the dreamiest makeup base. Wear alone or as the perfect base for makeup this one doesn't say shake well which I would have expected it did need shaking let me just double check no you don't need to shake how interesting so obviously we have two very different aesthetics going on here this seems great for travel comfy uh, that almost rubberized plastic feeling it's super cute with the orange and the pink which I like I guess peach and purple would be a more accurate description Looks like a whipped cream, obviously tinted. It is flat on the bottom, so you can stand it up. I thought it was gonna fall over, so I'm glad that they did that. But this is nice to put in a pocket or a purse, a jacket, something like that. I didn't get nearly as much as I did with the dropper. The dropper, you just push the top to get it out, and as much comes out as comes out. You can't really, you know, with the squeezy tube kind of top topper droppers. <laughs> You can kind of squeeze a little bit and let one drop out, but with this kind of dropper where you just push it, 
it lets out as much as it lets out. So you can control more with the COSAS dispenser system where you just you know squeeze it and let out a little bit. So that's one thing. Not that I'm really comparing the two. I don't think that they are comparable. This one feels like it's, pr it, um, well, first of all, it's very smoothing. It feels like there's more of a finish on my skin. This side feels moisturized where I put the ro rose ink and the side with the COSAS actually feels smoother. Like, I've put a coating on top of it. Not in a bad, slick, weird way. Mercury's in retrograde, I'm having trouble with my wording. You'll have to go with me, I'm very into astrology. Kosas, rose ink. I think the Kosas did put a little bit of, like it says, you can wear it as a ba under base or you could wear it as something that sort of smooths the complexion, does a teeny bit of coverage, and just gives a more perfected look. I'm gonna go with the rose ink because I'm sure I will be doing the Kosas separately or more intensely. I don't know, I'm gonna be talking about all these, of course, but I had in my head that I was going with the rose ink. I don't think I have any more SPF in here. All right, here we go. The Kosas does have a little scent. It's very mild, but Oh, I think it's gonna make me sneeze. All right, let's go ahead and put the rose ink on. Okay, this could kind of be annoying. I keep dipping it in, doing the top, pumping it back out, and this is all I'm getting. I mean, I'm sure I will get more. I'll get the hang of it, but Right off the bat, that's a little annoying because I can't control how much I get. Okay, with that applied, my skin feels hydrated, moisturized, really nice, ready for makeup, primed in the sense of my skin is, yeah, moisturized and ready for product to go on top of it. I'm gonna go get the Rose Ink Foundation, put that on. I'll be right back. Uh, before I do that, let's see what else I have so I know what makeup to bring with me or put on. We have the Lawless Hold Up Soft Creamy Brow Wax. I got it in the shade Light Medium because I just can't imagine that, although my brows are very dark, I can't imagine that I'm the sh same shade as someone with a much, much deeper skin tone and black hair. So I got, I think the next one after this, Light Medium was just dark. This is what this looks like. I got some Colfi. These are all Clean It Sephora. I only purchased stuff that was Clean It Sephora, but this is the Colfi Main Match Concealer Corrector. I got the shade Coco Crush. We'll talk more about the packaging when I actually use these things. I also got the, ooh, Amicole, the Lash. The Lash Amplifying Mascara in Rich Black. I got the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. Here's this. Shampoo and conditioner from Drunk Elephant. My whole family loves this. My hair actually really does look better when I use it. I don't know what's so special about it, but we love it. I probably should have bought more of these. I'm not into buying backups but maybe I should have bought more of these when they were on sale. The scalp massager just called to me. It's the Sephora brand. I guess this was an impulse purchase, so I splurged in one area, but I think it was like $3 because the Sephora brand stuff was on super sale. Apparently it's for decoration, because I, I can't get it out. This, I'm back. I took the moment to change my clothes, um, I did put on the Rose Ink Serum Foundation. I was wrong, it's actually plastic and a little taller and thinner than the serum of SPF. My dog has joined us. I'll include shade names and everything in the description down below. I also put on some of the Lawless The One palette on my eyes. I'm sure I'll be fixing that up a little bit. I did also put on a little bit of the Westman Atelier Contour Stick under my cheekbones and Biscuit. That is all that I have done. Oh yeah, I wanted to go in now with the Colfi 
concealer. It says Main Match Concealer Corrector. Yeah, Cocoa Crush is the shade. I think it's plastic. I do like this. I think this is cute yet a little more sophisticated than maybe, you know, the Kosas packaging or the Kelly Ray. Um, it may be just because it's a little more sleek, but I do like it. Oh, this is really flexible. I don't know if you can see how flexible that is. I'm just tapping it to see how that does. It went on feeling really wet and it feels like it's drying down. Hmm. Looks like a good match for me, at least on my hand. It's a good match for my hand. Let's read what they claim. I've just been curious about this brand. I've heard of Colfi. I wanted to get their like cream eyeshadow, but they were all sold out of the colors that I was interested in. And it really doesn't say anything about it. Just it says, never settle for anything less than your main match. And doesn't have any claims, which frankly, I appreciate. I'm just gonna go in with the Angie Hot and Flashy a506 brush. This is typically how I do my concealer. It's looking kind of airbrushed. Blending out easily. The shade match does seem to be good. I prefer a shade match as opposed to a brightening concealer because of the way my under eyes are shaped and I typically don't cover my melasma or any dark spots on my face. So I think this is a great shade match. I'm gonna come in. You can see how nicely and smoothing it is. Doesn't look to be settling into my creases. <laughs> Does not seem to be creasing is what I'm trying to say. Well. That was creamy and light and dried down beautifully. I don't feel that I need to powder it. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that. I didn't know how that would go, so I had not yet put on any bronzer. This is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I did not just purchase these, but I do purchase my Drunk Elephant products during a sale, and this is one that I love. I add it, here I'll put it on the back of my hand. Uh, I add it to foundations that are a little too pale. I use it as a bronzer. You need just a small amount. I don't know why I'm showing this. I'm gonna put this on, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I was showing that. My point being, if I hadn't bought it, is it all rubbed in? If I hadn't, even though I didn't buy it just now, I would have bought it. That was my point. I like to buy most of my clean beauty products. <laughs> I like to buy as much of my stuff that I can at clean beauty stores like Integrity Botanicals, Credo, Aaliyah. But anyway, I'm gonna do blush. I'm just gonna use the Rose Ink Blush in the shade Hibiscus. I'm trying to use all products you could get at Sephora. And this is that shade. Then, this isn't sold there, my PYT blush and exhale I use every single day. This has turned more into a makeup get ready with me, kind of. Uh, I just use this because it's like a skin perfecter finishing powder. I mean, I just put it right here, kind of under my eyes. I, I does something special. I use it every day and I've had it for years. I'm finally getting through the no BS stamp that was on there. Okay, so I woke up with a cold two days ago. I mean like full-blown cold out of nowhere. I thought it was allergies the day went on and it was clearly not allergies, it became a cold. So my husband said, well, let's go out to lunch. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Okay, we're going in with the Lawless Brow Wax. I tend to prefer a wax as opposed to a gel. Gels just get itchy for me because they dry down and I, I don't know, it's not so comfortable for me. So I've been curious about this product. I used to love the Beauty Counter Brow Wax. I just haven't tried that in a while. I bought that a few times. I may go back and buy that again. Here's the spoolie. It doesn't look like what I was expecting. It looks like maybe it's gonna put down a lot of product. So I do also have here with me just one of those spoolies you can get at the makeup counter or at any makeup counter. 
um, in case I need to brush through afterwards. Again, I have the shade light medium. Actually, nothing is coming off. So maybe it is a waxy product. I was gonna show you the shade. Let's go ahead and get this on. Okay, so far, I'm actually really liking this. It's not depositing too much product, but I do see some color and some hold. Huh. Okay, so anyway, my husband, you know, got me out to lunch because we still thought it might be allergies. But by the end of lunch, it was clear that I had a cold. And right across the street from where we had lunch happened to be one of those wellness places that gives shots and, well, they just do like shots, like a medical wellness place that's open to the public. I don't really understand these things, but before I knew it, my husband had dragged me in there and was getting me a wellness shot, which is like vitamin C, zinc, and magnesium. Sorry, I don't know if I'm now finally reacting to the scent in this Kosas product or something else is going on. Um, but anyway, he got me in there and I was a little bit terrified. because so I was like, they, they didn't ask me a single question. Like, they didn't say, do you have any allergies? How do you react to anything. They were just like, yeah, come sit down. We have a shot to make help you feel better faster. It'll shorten your illness by a few days. Uh, so they stuck that in my arm and as they're giving it to me, I was like, holy, mm, it hurt so bad. And I used to get allergy shots every week. Like I'm fine with shots, not with blood draws, but with shots. And they were like, oh yeah, we didn't want to tell you it really hurts because we thought you wouldn't get it. My arm hurt for the entire day, but now I'm on day three of this and I woke up today feeling perfectly fine until right now that my nose is getting stuffy and I think it's that Kosas product. Uh, anyway, I guess it really worked, kind of amazing, but the whole experience was really weird. Do you guys, have you ever done that? Like anything like what I'm talking about or do you get shots, boosters like that? Or have you walked into a place randomly and let them give you a shot like am i crazy this could have gone all wrong is what i think i kind of feel like this is exactly what i wanted yeah it's a wax it's not a gel i do feel like my brows could still move like they're not crunchy and hard but they'll be held in place it definitely added some volume to them and shape We'll see how it holds. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this so far. Oh, the mascara, the Amicole mascara. It just says clean beauty made for melanin rich skin. A volumizing mascara that instantly lifts lashes with a flexible buildable, buildable formula to give you that oomph. Okay, right now I've been using the Victoria Beckham mascara, which is more lengthening, not at all volumizing. So this will be nice. Gotta blow my nose. You know, I didn't read the claims on the Lawless. Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax is a clean and easy to apply creamy fluid wax fixer that delivers full bodied, flexible brows with a hint of tint, which lasts all day. This lightweight force of lasting coverage is enriched with actives that enhance, nourish, and condition brows throughout wear. The soft fiber brush coats each hair evenly, setting brows in place without a hard feel residue or flaking. The formula features an optimal play time that once dry is locked in all day for extreme hold. All right, cool. Yeah, exactly what I've been looking for, but it does seem like it's gonna dry down from what it says. So yeah, it's already dried down a bit. Moving right along to the mascara again. Cute, I really like this packaging, sleek, shiny. It's uh, plastic, not glass from what I can tell. Ooh. Is that a rubbery wand or? No, it's not, it's a bristle wand. I'm not gonna curl my lash because I wanna see what it does on its own. And you know, mascaras change once you have them. After a couple weeks when they've dried down some, they perform differently than they did in the beginning. So this is a first impression. Well, it did lift, even though that's not one of the claims. I'm just looking in my mirror. Definitely my lashes look thicker, fuller. The wand is easy to use. It's not messy. It's, I would say the just right consistency. It's not too wet, but it's not dry. Like it's wet enough that it's adhering or easy to put on my lashes, but it doesn't feel goopy and sloppy and wet like that. Yeah, it's easy to apply. I know I said I'm not putting more on, but here I am. Yeah, I like it. It's easy to apply, made a difference right away. We'll see. 
I'm gonna finish up my face and um, we will go in with the Surf Proof Setting Spray from Cali Ray. The hair is a bit square, but this is what we have to work with today. All right, let's go in now with the Sunproof Setting Spray. Mm, hydrating, hyaluronic, shake me well. Apply four to five pumps, six to eight inches from your face. It's just uh, use over makeup for a long lasting finish. Reuse throughout the day for hydrating refresh. Passes the white t-shirt test. Long performance, tiny droplets of maximum absorption of skincare cover recovering seawater minerals, niacinamide, and transdermal magnesium. Magnesium. Each spray pumps bouncy hydration onto skin with agave and prickly pear extracts. Shake well to activate formula and bring out the soft focus effect. Here's to hoping there's no intense scent. <laughs> oh, I did put on some Merit lipstick in the shade Baby. Plastic, cute. Here we go. Six to eight inches. Mmm. It's nice. I want to keep spraying it. <laughs> Smells like coconut. A light coconut scent, not a sweet candy coconut, just a light coconut scent. I quite like it. You saw the mist was very fine. I don't feel like I have any big splurts on my face. Actually, I don't even see any big splurts. Did you like this? Yeah. I um, am really pleased with all of my purchases. The only thing we didn't use was the scalp massager. It, I thought it was gonna be like a harder plastic, but it's like a flexible, maybe even rubber. The only reason I'm curious about that is I don't want it to pull my hair. It's not pulling my hair. The Briogeo one that I have is more rubbery, if you've seen the Briogeo one, and it does pull my hair some, which I think is a horrible product, but this one feels nice. I don't know, I was thinking I could use it in the shower to help rub in shampoo, that kind of thing. I don't know, like I said, I purchased it on whim. I guess I could hang it in the shower. So that is everything I got. I'm quite pleased. I am think I'm really gonna like the mascara. I'm just checking. It's not, my lashes aren't hard. They're still flexible. I didn't put a whole lot of mascara on, but I got the look I was going for and my lashes are flexible, comfortable. I think it looks nice. I had no flaking. Putting it on wasn't messy. Yeah, I really like it. The brow product, same thing. It has dried down, but it's not that uncomfortable, dried feeling that I get from a gel. I think it deposited nice pigment. It's doing nice hold. Oh my gosh, I think the thing that blew me away was this Colfi concealer. Let's do a checkup, because I haven't touched it since I last checked in. What do you think? I'm excited about this, great color match for me. Was super easy to apply, blended out beautifully. I like the finish. It isn't a matte finish by any means, but um, it's not super dewy. It's not wet, it's dried down, but I still feel moisturized. I'm That to me is the star. Yes, I did like the SPF, the dropper, we'll see how that works out. The uh, Kosas SPF was lovely on the back of my hand. We'll see, that scent seems to be a problem for me. It's definitely, I don't know if it's completely gone, but a regular person probably wouldn't be able to smell it. I'm just extra sensitive. Oh, and this I'm excited about. I've been into setting sprays, especially as we head into summer, something I never used before, probably this past year but I hate how much my makeup wears off. I'm not a person to retouch throughout the day typically. I just wanna put it on and go about my day. And setting sprays have made a big difference, so I wanted to find one that I really liked. And this is a contender, we'll see how it does. Let me know what you guys got at the sale, what you think of these products. If um, Well, you'll see them throughout my videos. I always revisit stuff, but if you'd like to see a more in-depth review of anything, let me know. I hope you're Feeling well, doing well, and as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.